Hello, kit heads. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the world. If you don't know by now, where have you been? I have, of course, double A, and we are back. And most importantly, someone else is back. We've got Kit King Dom right here. He's been holding down the fort as well. We've been holding down the fort as the, the, yeah. the two solo rankers or regular rankers, as it as it would seem. But he's back. It's GK Sean One. Why, do, why have you got the one there when your Twitter handle doesn't have one? I'm going to keep asking this until you move it. It's my squad number. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. You need to change your Twitter handle then, don't you? Um, it doesn't make sense. Do, yeah. Anyway, Sean's back, which is great. Um, but we are back. Most importantly, we are back. We've opened the doors, kicked open the doors to the rank bank. We've got 10 more shirts that we are going to be looking at this evening, today, this show. On this episode, and yeah, thank you for being here. If you haven't already, smash a like up on that video, please. If you're if you're new, if it's your first time talking kit, or maybe it's not, you like to talk kit all the time. Why have you not subscribed to the channel yet? I can see you sat there and it's still saying subscribe. It's not saying subscribed. So make sure you subscribe. That's what I want you to do. Don wants you to do it. Most importantly, Sean wants you to do it. Just do it. That's it's you know, it's easy, it's free. And why not? We've actually jumped up quite a lot in the last couple of weeks. I think being consistent with that, um, being consistent with that content is really, really helping us do that. So the more the merrier. We want as many kit heads in the world as possible. That's what we do call our community here on Talking Kit. So yeah, become a part of it and get involved. Why not? Like I say, 10 more shirts. I'm looking forward to this episode of Full Kit Rankers. Uh, and I hope you are too. So Dom, how have you been, mate? Is everything... Everything well since last week? All good, yeah. Basking in a Mancunian glow. Looking at the demise, certainly this weekend, I oh, expect we'll get battered off Leeds, to be honest. Well, don't um, say that. Don't but say yeah. that. But, but yeah, it, it, it's, a it's, great time. yeah, it's good to be the only team in Manchester with morals. I mean, I, yes. well, I say that loosely because our owners haven't got any, but... Well, that, uh, is, that, that also translates to the, the green weekend... That uh, there was the initiative around climate change, oh, and course. all fans could get green points. And United were actually top of that league, so it's nice seeing them top of a league for a change. That, and through yeah. the exactly. If you're going to be in the top of the league for something, it might as well be for that. Sean, hello. Stockport did all right weekend. Cracking day that sell out. Uh, Tramil Cheshire rivals um, seventh Amazing. now. Seventh. I mean. I keep saying it. I was joking when I first said it, but pro- promotion charge on? On a what? Yeah, nine or ten weeks ago, I was thinking uh, we might be a, bit, a little bit getting ahead of ourselves, but we've got a squad to do. We've got depth in attack. Great goalkeeper. And fans believe in us. <laughs> believe in us? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back, I'm one of them. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that sounds good, mate. It's, I'm happy it's going well in terms of Stockport. Um, Premier League, maybe one day, and we can have them, uh, them little derbies, mate. It'd be nice because we might as well have someone from Manchester or around Manchester in the Premier League with us because the other team might not be there for much longer. Yeah. Um, with what's coming out today, you know, they might be doing a Juventus dipping down the leagues a little bit, but most of their fans love that apparently. That's the best days they've ever had when they were going away to Gillingham and, and all these ridiculous teams, which is all looks in it. Let's be honest, it's when they had the best kit as well. Well, with the made-up badge, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, there, there was that. <laughs> anyway, we digress. City fans, stick around. It's not all bashing. It's, it's fine, honestly. Um, but we've got another guest, obviously. Jay, if you don't know... Ah, let's get that admin out of the way first before we bring before we bring our guest on. Of course, this show is always... Always? Well, it is for now. Sponsored by Retro Football Kits. Obviously, if Manscaped come in... Bye bye retro football kits. Hello, Manscaped. I need some hairless balls. That's what I'm pretty much aiming for in 2023. Um, but no, for now, <laughs> retro football kits are sponsoring full kit rankers. This this I've got on this lovely jacket from the 90s. That's from retro. I went and got that. To, I didn't buy it. I just they know I've got it. I'm not saying I robbed it, but they know I have it. I've took it, but they know I have it. So you can get 10% off this. I got that from there. I may have something else a little bit later. You'll see. I got from there. 
ten percent off using code Talking Kit Ten. I mean, honestly, I, I was in there today, and some of the shirts they've got there and up on the website and stuff going on is insane. I really will go and check them out. Thousands of shirts and you know, great prices. So yeah, go over there, and if you want an extra little bit off, Talking Kit Ten is there for you all to use. You are welcome. So yeah, Jay. From the Retro Football Kits company or YouTube channel, especially, he obviously joins in now. He's the um, unofficial of anchor behind the scenes. He sent me his scores, and obviously, as all I guess do, send me their scores, and I rank them. I have fun doing so, as you can probably imagine. So yeah, let's get our guest on then, because we've rambled on long. I say we've rambled, I've rambled on long enough. And it's time we get into the main crux of the show, your favourite part of the show, where we all sit together and rank our brains out. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get our guest on this week. Um, first, I'm going to show you a little something because, you know, Twitter competitions are precarious, sometimes precarious, and you never think you're going to win in it. I won one not too long ago. I'm sure it was, it was after the derby it was, I think, which is even better. Um, I won a little T-shirt, a free T-shirt, and it was this. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. It says, like Manchester, Rashford is red. Like Manchester, Rashford plays for the only team that's in the Premier League soon as well. So, um, <laughs> you best be yeah, careful. So I Ruben, Ruben Neves will be at your house taking that off. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I'd be going mad. Look at him. I don't care, Ruben. Come, come and sign for United while you're here, mate. That'd be nice. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I've not worn it yet because. It's one of them, innit? You know, when you get a new shirt, I've got I've got so many shirts around that I've not worn yet, and this is one of them. So uh, I won that on a little competition. And not only that, this person also found out that my favourite player is Eric Cantona. And in the package with the T-shirt, he sent me that as well. I mean, how nice lucky touch. am I? Oh, it's very nice. So I'm not saying I felt obligated to bring him on Talking Kit. No, I didn't. I'm not, not at all. It's not at all. It's... <laughs> But it's always nice to expand the, the Talking Kit community in a Talking Kit universe, so to speak. Um, so I thought, you know what? We've got we've got a week to get filled up. Quite the fixture list is quite full, thanks to Dom. But all Dom's hard work, nothing to do with me. <laughs> and I thought, we need to find a space for this guy because I need to come and bring him on, especially after seeing that and, and his amazing artwork and stuff. Um, let's get him on and let's rank some kits with him. So I feel like he's come on for a good week. And it's good to get him on, and he can be part of the team and whatever he wants. It is, has, does, whatever. You don't have to call him has, does, as I'm sure you could have said no, has. No. Good Just evening, Pat. Has. Good evening. Thanks for having me on. How are you doing? I'm all good. Mate, I'm it's all our good. pleasure. It's our pleasure, mate. Thank you so much for the Appreciate t-shirt, it. first of all. No worries. And for the little, uh, and for the, the, the Cantona little print. That's going to, I'm going to get a nice little frame for that. That'll go... Replaced the picture of my girlfriend on my bedside table, but she doesn't know that yet. But um, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. It's uh, thank you for that, and thank you for coming on. Um, no you said you've seen a little. You said you've seen a little bit of uh, a full kit rank. You see, kind of know what's in yeah. store for you. Um, absolutely, that's, that's absolutely amazing to know. So yeah, so as I said before, it is ten shirts from ten Premier League managers when they were players. I think I've done quite well. There's some. There's one maybe that people will think, why have you picked that? But I thought, well, that's the reason why to pick it. Um, you shouldn't always go for what you know. Did anyone struggle this week with with the, the 10 or was it quite easy or was it a good list with a bad list? How did you feel? Um, start with you, Dom, if you want to go. I found like a theme towards the end. Uh, so there was a definite like bottom four, five okay. maybe for me. Uh, yeah. And then it was, a, it was a bit more trickier. But <clears throat> I think... Um, Whichever manager it was came into it a little, a little bit for me at, at points. I tried not okay. to let it like skew my opinion, but uh, yeah, okay. it, yeah, it did definitely for the last one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, can Im- I can imagine just looking at your scores now. I think, eh, yeah, I think so. Sean, yourself, obviously, you got no horse in this race, so for you, it's kind of an open, a blank page, right? Yeah, kind of a neutral, yeah. Um, the yeah, bottom two. Bottom two, three were easy. Yeah. Um, top three or four were quite hard, and I think the rest was just filler, weren't it? I think. Looking at my list, yeah. It's all it all it's all about what how they wore it as well. Not so much the kit, what? but how they wore it. 
Yeah, I think that's always important. That's why I always send them second lot of pictures. Yeah. And sometimes you come in here and you just haven't even looked at them. So it's nice that some <laughs> someone's making use someone's making use of it, Sean. Thank you very much. I'm glad you get the concept of the show. Has yourself, how did you find the shirts? Was there any stood out for you? Well, you have to mention them, we'll keep it mm-hmm. secret, but so number one was easy for me. The last one was yeah. easy. And then I was just thinking, what manager do I like? What shirt would I wear? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there was a bit of bias, similar to Dom, depending on who was in the shirt, but it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of agree with that. And I think I think the good thing about this this channel for me, it's kind of, rightly or wrongly, t- t- taking a lot of bias out of certain teams and shirts and even players sometimes. And I think I can be a bit more objective. Don't look at me like that, Dom. I can be objective if I want to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think I, I thought it was good. I know Jay said he liked it um, when I, when I sent him through. So he said, "What did he say?" He said, "It's a great era for kids." I can imagine <laughs> he did it, <laughs> but he could have done because that's his catchphrase. Uh, right, okay, that's enough from us then, and let's get into this week's list of ten shirts from Premier League managers from when they were players. I'm gonna go from ten to one as per usual. So. Starting at number 10 on our list then, and we've only 10 points this week, so it's dead last. It is this one from the Bournemouth manager, Gary O'Neill, when he was playing for Portsmouth. Now, I know you're going to say, double A, Portsmouth have had some absolute bangers during the time. Because he played for them between 2000 and 2007. Let me just uh, check my notes. Yeah, he played for him from 2000 to 2007, 174 appearances with 16 goals. But this is the 2000 to 2002 home shirt. Now, sometimes you have to shed light on shirts you may not have known. I've never seen this shirt before in my life. And that didn't stop me putting it last, by the way. But I know they have got some other shirts that are more famous or probably would have fared better in this list, but that's not really what it's about. Jay had it dead last as well, and his notes were... Boring kit. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Um, let's kick it off with... Has, we'll come to you on it. We'll start with you on this one. Uh, so it was ninth on your list. It's just not great for you or not the yeah. worst? One of the worst? Just doesn't do it for me. It's not a good... Yeah, Spencer's not very good. Colour's not very good. Yeah, I don't like the collar. Uh, yeah, basically very low. Very low. <laughs> Very low. Uh, no, I, I I tend to agree. It has that has that lower league feel to it for me. Uh, uh, definitely, Sean, being a fan of a, a team from a lower league, would you agree? I know you had it seventh on your list, but yeah, how would you, it, is, how would you feel? it is boring. I think I only had it off the bottom because there were some right ugly ones. So I thought that needs to be bottom. Um, I think this is just middle of the road. Maybe it could have been lower on reflection. But... Yeah, I mean, if that trim's white and you move, remove the badge, that, that's a stop port shirt, isn't it? Let's be honest. From, I reckon, from the old four season, yeah, it's like a perfect... I mean, template. I mean, from when you were formed to now, I guess. We've had some bangers. <laughs> we'll do a stop port episode. Ooh, oh, yeah. please, oh. that'd be good. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. We'll have to get someone who, who likes stop port. Sure, you're very fine. Um, well, I, get used on it. You'd, <laughs> Get you in the know of Stockport. That'd be great. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. I'll host it. Right. I'll host it. Oh, I, you know what? I would fucking love to see that. You host it. Tingen Castle. Tingen Castle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> we can set that up. Um, fair enough then. On, uh, we'll finish off with you then, Dom, on this one. Uh, like, had you had this in ninth place? I mean, was you upset it wasn't a better Portsmouth shirt or? You know, is yeah, it well, nice it, to have a, a bit of filler? Yeah, well, yeah, it's nice to have a, a different manufacturer and they went in-house for this one. It's Pompey Sports, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so they just had, presumably, by the looks of it, the players making it in the back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, it screams a, a bit of Wimbledon at me as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall, just a just a boring generic shirt. But then what what else would you expect um, from, from an in-house team? Well, you say that, but we had an in-house episode in, in Series 1, not to hop back to other episodes of the great Full Kit Rankers. 
uh, that's been going for over a year now. Uh, but I think there were some nice shirts in that in house one. So I guess this what one wasn't in it. This no, one wasn't yeah, in it. Wasn't yeah, it. yeah, this wasn't in the episode, by the way. So yeah, yeah you're absolutely right on that. I get what you say. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there we go. Gary uh, Gary O'Neill, who is obviously the Bournemouth manager, when he played for Portsmouth. Wearing the 0 2 2, no, the 2000 to 2002 shirt, dead last on our, uh, our list this week. Sean, a night out rating for this one? Would you even bother? Three. Three, three, three. three out of ten. Three out of That's ten. Right. I'm, not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not looking good in that. <laughs> I don't think anyone is, not even Gary. Uh, well, there we go then. The 10 points on our list. 10th overall this week, unfortunately, Portsmouth fans. Um, Jackson's jersey is not going to be happy with us, but hopefully he still smashes a like on the video, like all you should be as well. Right, let's move on then to number nine on our list. 12 points overall from the rankers this week. And it is, it's this, it's the Mains 05 shirt from um, 92 to 93. And it was worn by a manager. He's not going through... A great time at the moment. Much to mine and Don's delight. How's your United fan, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah. So, has he's happy as well? And it is Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool manager. <laughs> this is what he wore when he played for Mainz. Uh, he played for Mainz from 1990 to two, uh, 2001. 325 appearances, 52 goals. I didn't really know he was... You know, it's not a lot of goals, I guess, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, so the 92 to 93 home shirt... It was dead, uh, exactly where I put it. Ninth on the list for me. Jay had it eighth, and he says, "Funky patterns. White panel is horrible." Sorry, too. what? <laughs> <laughs> Funky. Fun- oh, okay. Funky patterns. That's that's the problem with a man, Caxon. You should know the problem with that. Funky, <laughs> funky patterns. White panel is horrible. Too much space. And sponsor is small inside it. Um, I'm gonna tell a rude joke then, but it's not it's not worth it. It's a family show, as we know. Sean, we'll come to you on this one because this was the worst overall for you. So what was it about this that didn't want to make you this no, didn't want you to make this the main shirt in your list? Well, there's a lot so wrong with it, isn't there? Um, <laughs> it could have it, it could have been a classic. I reckon if, if the sponsor wasn't there, it definitely is a classic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, you can't see past it, can you? The bit, and the, the shit underneath, just it doesn't work. It just makes you feel a bit... And even when he's wearing it, it looks shit when he's wearing it as well. It's, not, it's too skinny, too baggy. Yeah. But it, it, I, thought it, I thought this would get higher for you because that's the haircut you had in the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a haircut of nightmares. I'm getting away from it. I hate it. That's uh, Gary for, off the office, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's in it. <laughs> a lot of lotto going on, and he's got lotto boots on as well. There, yeah. you've noticed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah even yeah. the tri- even the even the sleeves just it's just horrible. In it. Just not a fan. Just not. No, a fan. ten is ten for a reason. Can't give a proper reason. Yeah, no, uh, I agree with that. Dom again, someone else who had it 10th, which yeah. is, you know, um, double the score of 05. Um, <laughs> why Why is it the worst for you? Is it because it's Klopp? Or that, 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 do you know, I, I wouldn't even need that. It could be anyone. But if, if you go on the other picture, like, look, look, even that defender can't look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's right. grim. The 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 there's too much of an absent space in yeah. where the sponsor should be filling. Now it looks like someone's just scribbled around it. The badge is too far over to the center that isn't like adjacent to the to the lotto badge as well, the manufacturing badge. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's shifted yeah. across and then it looks like it's got a pretty decent pattern trapped in like a red prison that also goes down the sleeve. So if, if that was maybe a bit more prominent. It might might have scored a bit higher, but yeah, there's there's too much to dislike that. It's just the absent space that pisses me off. Yeah, I agree. Would you say it also looks like a knockoff version of the Stuttgart away? Oh, this would have been fit before it, but so the Stuttgart yeah. away from this season, it's obviously a heart back to the nineties. Looks like a shit version yeah. of that, even though it was before, which is some going. But okay, no, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, someone who you know has you kind of had it 
six on your list overall. Uh, what was it about it that kind of was it just that you had one space left and put it in like it's happened before in this show or a little bit of that, but I do actually quite like it in long sleeve, but I'm not going to lie, I didn't really notice the pattern on the chest too much, so that kind of makes me rethink what I was thinking at the time, but oh, okay. it kind of gives you a bit of like B-Tech AC Milan vibes, doesn't it? So <laughs> yeah, you could go for, you could go for that, couldn't you? If you've got it in a mystery kit box, you might be a bit like interested by it, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's been, been intriguing in the same way yeah. that some girls might be when you're drunk. Oh like, yeah, it's, it's nothing more than that. Would this one be quite hard to illustrate? It has um, oh, I I quite like doing a a pattern. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I try and fit them in. So uh, I think it'd be quite fun to illustrate. To be fair, get it no on vintage. The list. Yeah, I don't think I will. I don't think cloth will go down well with my uh, <laughs> followers, <laughs> target audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it hasn't hasn't gone down well in terms of the shirt. In our list, so let's draw a line under it, and it is the main shirt from 92 to 93. That was worn by Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool manager. Um, yeah, not doing too well. Let's move on then to our next Premier League manager then. Eighth place with 15 points overall. Yeah, he's not he's not used to being eighth at the minute because he's top of the league, and it's Mik Mikel Arteta. And do you know what I found out about the shirt? I'll tell you in a minute. So he played for Everton. So, 05 to 2011, 162 appearances, 27, uh, 27 goals. This is the 2011-2012 home shirt. Now, I picked... What I did was, I searched the manager as a player and then picked a shirt I thought they looked all right in. Now, this is the best shirt that I think Arteta wore for Everton. He didn't actually wear it in the season it came out. There's a picture of him in it, but it must have been pre-season because he was sold to Arsenal in the summer of 2011. So technically he did wear it, but not officially in, in the season that it was released. So if anyone, in you know, you kick connoisseurs out there that are going to hammer me, listen, he wore it. That's why it's here. Get off my back. Um, I've been getting pelters the last couple of days. I was on... Saeed's show, I do obviously a show of Andy Tate on a Sunday night. It's a United show, it's a United channel. I was, I forgot what I had on, I'll be honest. I had a United shirt, on classic United shirt in the back. I'm going on a tangent here, but I don't care. Classic United shirt in the back. I, I had a, a Barcelona like zip, like training top uh, jacket thing. Would people let it go in the comments? Absolutely not. Why have you got a Barca top on, bro? What's Barca about, bro? Kiss the badge, bro. So I kissed the badge at the end of the show. I was like, it's just a top. Calm down. But I did talk about United should um, forfeit the Europa League against Barca. And it looked like I was kind of saying, yeah, because I want Barca to win it. But that wasn't it. I was just saying, I want United. United got too many games. We need to let something go. Let it be the Europa League. But anyway, that, I digress. I digress. Uh, yeah, so we did wear it. And there we go. So it's Mikel Arteta, 15 points overall. Uh, eighth on my list. Again, I'm... I'm Bob on tonight. It's almost like I've I've faked it, innit? It's not though. Um Jay, who is not here, he had it in it was his ninth place shirt, and he said about it, um nice but basic. That's yeah, that's what I'm sure that's what Hannah says about me. Um let's go on to the rankers. Sean, we'll kick it off with you. Um Fifth place, why do you like it so much? Uh, well, it's, it's middle of the road. I, it, it looks neat, symmetrical. Yeah. Look, Cox Sport Teeth logo, Everton logo, sponsor. It, that's perfect for me. Um, yeah. And when he's wearing it as well, again, I've made judgment on that. He looks he looks good in it, especially in the wet. Um, as a full <laughs> kit as well. <laughs> okay. Val yeah. Which is a valid point. Um, it was better than better than some. Um, it wasn't ugly like the mains kit. It was just okay, but it wasn't groundbreaking. Yeah, I think I think after the show you be a full wanker. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's a conformative kit. That's, what I'm saying. <laughs> That's nice. The, the Puma boots are set it off as well. Very mm. very nice. Has let's come to you next on this one because this is one. I guess you're going to disagree with everything. 
Sean saying because it was last on your list. Yeah, um, a bit blinded by the fact I really don't like uh, Arteta, but I don't, <laughs> there was just something about uh, this Everton kit. I think there's way better ones with the the uh, the Chang logo one. I, I love the Chang logo. I think that's a classic um, sponsor to have. Um, yeah, but this kit just seems a bit plain and a bit boring. Like I don't know, growing up, Le Coq Sportif was never seen as a a good brand to be wearing. So I think sure. how old was I? I was probably like, ooh, was this 2011? Yeah. So I was like, how old was I? I was like 17, 16, 17. So just as- associating that brand with everything pretty on point. To be fair, not very good. You spot on there, mate. That that makes perfect sense. Moving on to our friend Dom over here. And you had an eighth as well, mate. You was spot on with where it is. I mean, I could show you. I'm not going to show you the kits that he wore, but I think it, it is the best one I think he wore. The little accents, you know, Sean's right. It's quite neat. It is very basic, but sometimes basic can work. So for you, for eighth, is it just a case that it was too worse or... Yeah, yeah, I think there's, it's not actually that offensive, um, but it just doesn't do anything exciting at all. I like the, like Sean said, the symmetry. It's got the, you know, kind of um, same orangey yellow that's in the badge on the cuffs and yeah. on the hem of the shirt as well, um, and ties in nicely with the full kit. But yeah, um, just doesn't do a great deal. Uh, and yeah, quite rightly, as has says, wearing Lecoq Sportif would be equivalent to. I don't know, tracksuit bottoms and shoes, uh, where there are long stables, uh, you'd get you'd get ripped. Yeah, but, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So there we go then, uh, Mick Arteta at Everton. You'll find out why I've not picked Arsenal. Arsenal fans, don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, Fifteen points overall for him. Sean, that out rating for this? Five or six for me. Five. Well, pick a number. Five and a half. Right, there we go. <laughs> Why not just do that? Um, <laughs> and the mains one did ask you about mains, but mains, no, no chance. Not wearing that night out. Uh, oh, I thought you like. <laughs> <laughs> now I might wear it driving a taxi from people home, but no, I won't wear it on night out. All right, okay. So, so zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, let's move on into number seven on our list. A little bit of a jump now in terms of points. It sometimes is always the way. Um, so, yeah, so number seven on our list, currently doing wonders in the Premier League and also in the League Cup. And it is Bournemouth and the Newcastle manager, Mr. Eddie Howe, as in how has this not got higher? Maybe you don't like it. Maybe it looks like they are wings on uh, uh, that shirt. That, their mannequins do no favours for shirts for the 90s, do they? It looks like you're about to go flamingo dancing. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. He looks that. No, no, no football has got a waistline like that. <laughs> You're not a cat. But then again, it's probably one of Kim Kardashian's, isn't it? <laughs> she's she's got got very abba, looks, looks very, looks very she abba, doesn't it? it? She loves the shirt, Sean. Yeah. Clearly loves the shirt. It's a classic shirt. Maybe it's one she's going to wear next time she goes and gets a bottle of milk. Who knows? Let's go through this. I, I, I mean,. I'm quite. I'm bang on again this week. I've got it in seventh. I think. I think it's. That's amazing. Uh, Jay has had it. Jay had it in third place. Okay, let's find out why. Um, cl- oh, come on, Jay, do better. Clean is put. For fuck's sake, <laughs> clean. Right, Eddie Howe played for Bournemouth. Um, he did two spells. So he did ninety four to 02, then oh four to oh seven. 253 appearances with just the 11 goals. Lou, do we start with? Has let's start with you. I don't think we start with you yet. I'll be did in the first one. Uh, eighth place for you overall. So just one place higher than you put it. For you, what was it that wasn't quite... Again, is it Lecoq Sport Eve? You just don't like the cheap look of Lecoq Sport yeah. Eve? Is. I just like my better branch, you know. We've got to... Yeah. No, um, this one, again, was... I was a bit stuck at the end and thought, where do I put this? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of went with that. I just thought it was a bit boring looking, to be honest. Uh, the stripes are, I don't know, it might be better if the stripes had been all equal to each other. But uh, yeah, I didn't really catch my attention too much. I think the picture of him playing didn't do it justice either, to be fair. 
It looks like uh, an American football shirt with him wearing it, like shoulder pads and everything. Yeah, it does, so. it does, it does a little bit, mate. I think I think you're you're right there. I do like shorts though with a little trim of the stripes. Yeah, that quite nice. give it extra points for that. To be fair. Okay, fair fair enough then. Uh, Sean, let's go with you next. And you had it eighth as well on your list. I echo the sentiments made by Haz on this one. But, yeah, and by yourself at the, at the start. It just, what is it about those big sleeves and the way that the, the, the way it's broken up as well at the you know, just below the shoulder? Just, yeah. just carry on yeah. with the stripes. Just what's that about? Um, the sponsor looks rubbish, for want of a better word as well. Frizzell, or is that Frizzelli? And who are they? I think it's maybe just fr- Frizzell. Frizzell. I don't Frizzell. know. And anti anti frizz cream for your hair. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just, just it just looks ugly. I think may I think it's not as bad as mains, but yeah, yeah, not for me. Fair enough. I think it has a, a me and Dom will know has a lot of a look of uh, a nineties city away shirt. This one for me. Yes, uh, especially with that collar. Umbro did yeah. pretty much the same collar. Yeah, pretty much. You got the, uh, Dom. They got the logo. The logo too far away as well. It's like too close to the armpits. Logo on the badge. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Could be a bit more centralized. Um, oh no! What's the fan? What's the fan? Armpits close to the badge. Also, we'll look at, that, we'll look at why, that later. Why don't you have the woman voice? Because then you get a woman's then voice. You get, then you get a woman that doesn't shower you all the time. Like, it's fucking bliss, honestly. I'll have a look at that later. <laughs> I bet you will. I bet you will. I bet you will. Um, Dom, let's go to you then quickly. Let's move on. Um, yes. Number number five on your list. Uh, was 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 your things then that you you quite liked in this shirt? Yeah. Um, I think obviously the the pattern itself, the collar is decent, although it's just nicked off off umbro um yeah. the fritzel sponsor threw me at first <laughs> uh, <laughs> especially with them bars oh god yeah oh jesus um but yeah i think uh i think overall it's just typical 90s big baggy winged football yeah. shirt and i did yeah. like the fact that with the shorts it tied in um so yeah scored scored extra points for me on that one yeah, absolutely. I have to say that the old Ensley Football League badge as well. Oh yeah, beautiful. And Super League did, did make some really good shirts for a lot of different clubs like Burnley, Huddersfield, Brighton. Um, so Top yeah, I, yes, yes, actually. So I quite like them as a as a manufacturer. Who? who? Super League. It's not Super League. It's Lecoq Sport. Oh no, is it? <laughs> did they did, did they do? I'm sure they did some of theirs. I think they did like uh, earlier on. Or uh, maybe yeah. later, I think. Yeah, but no, oh, well, if it's the Cox Sporty, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'll have a put it fifth. Uh, anyway, it's fine. Um, quick night out rating, Sean. Four, four, fair enough. There we go. Then Eddie Howe at Bournemouth before he was the manager of Bournemouth, and obviously before he was the manager of Newcastle United. Coming seventh on our list this week with 24 points. Let's move on then to another Premier League manager when they were playing. But before we do, have you smashed a like on the video yet? Have you subscribed to the channel? Have you shared it with your kit-loving friends? And have you smashed the bell notification button for every time we release new content? Make sure you do all four of those because it's greatly received. Right, yeah, number six on our list then. 28 points overall. Us United fans, oh, oh, shudder every time. We see his name or even see his face. It's a nice shirt though, and it's David Moyes down at Preston North End. Um, six on my list. I mean, it's almost like I've cheated now, isn't it? But it's not. I generally six on my list. Um, and fifth on Jay's from Retro Football Kits. And he says, What does he say? He says, Clean. I mean, you're gonna have to do better than this, Jay. I'm afraid. <laughs> You have to do so much better than this. Uh, he played for Preston from 93 to 98, 143 appearances and 15 goals. This is the 95 to 97 home shirt. Um, sorry, the Bournemouth one was 95 to 96, by the way, just uh, in case you wanted to know. Yeah, so nice. 
that Preston North End, although they're not from Manchester, have used a term that a lot of Manx use to say when they get in the taxi. Oh, get in that Baxi, lad. That Joe Baxi. Um, but there, yeah, that's maybe that's just me. Like I say, Jay had it on fifth. Dom, let's kick off with you then, because you've got it nailed on this week again. Uh, sixth place on your list. I mean, it's, it's a nice clean shirt, no? Clean, yeah. Very clean. <laughs> um, and uh, the they had the, the away in like a, like a red and black version of this. And I like it when there's a bit of synergy between home and away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, could, I couldn't tell you much about their manufacturer. I think, again, that's in-house. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Um, Has let's come to you. I was just deciding who to go to there. Uh, for you, it was fourth on your list overall. What was it about this that had you place it so high? Just a big fan of David Moyes, I guess. Yeah, just that gingerness of loving. <laughs> Back in the so, boys. Part of my thinking with these kits was like, oh, would I wear it to a festival? And for some reason, it just I just thought, you know what, I would wear that to a festival. And big fan of the collar and the the white and the, the navy, to be fair. Although looking at it in the picture again now, it does give you a little bit of an impression of a cricket jumper, you know, like a vest. But <laughs> I guess uh, you can forget about that when it's when you're wearing it. But yeah, I, I quite liked it. Quite liked it. No, yeah. Um, speaking of cricket, Sean. You hit this for six, as it was six on your list. Uh, <laughs> Tell us good one, Aaron. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I'd have had it higher than Everton. I put Everton fifth. I prefer yeah. this Everton's, um, and I wish I'd looked at it a lot we, harder. We wish you, we wish you did as well. Um, I, I like it. I like the kit a lot. Um, oh, there. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mizuno boots as well, eh? Oh no, yeah, classic. Is it, he's just seen Rivaldo, that, doesn't he? He's just seen that ball sail over for a, a, a six, hasn't he? Oh, look at that! <laughs> I'm just going. I'm just using your joke now. Uh, has I'm not even ashamed. Sorry, yeah. Carry on then, yeah. uh, John. It's is. <clears throat> I quite like it. it. It shouts classic nineties to me, and quite like that. Uh, big collar. Yeah. Uh, the, the gold trim around the badge as well. It's quite it's nice. To yeah. look out of place, even if it was blue, it'd, it'd still be the same for me. I think. Yeah, very, very nice. Also, just looking at it now, very similar to Spurs back in the nineties as well. It looks like you put a Spurs yeah, back. Like pony ones. ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. very pony Spurs. But I mean, that's not a bad thing. Um, so there we go, David Moyes. Sixth place on our list this week. 28 points overall. Preston North End. And this is their 95 to 97 home shirt. Quick night out rating, Sean? Seven. Seven. No, that's that's a decent score for this one. I like it. Right then, let's move on. Number five on our list. We're going to 29 points. Only beating it by a point. And he's back in the Premier League, guys. And he's at Everton. <laughs> and he's Sean Dyche. <laughs> when he played for Chesterfield, everyone. From 1990 to 1997, 231 appearances with eight goals. This is the 96 to 98 home shirt. You may know from the famous is it FA Cup semi final against uh, Borough, uh, which they, they, they lost. But yeah, it was fifth on our list. A third for me. I, I, I really love it. I think it's proper. We spoke about the early night, the 90s ones we've seen before in this list. I think this is the best one. Uh, probably one of the best ones of them all. I think there's a couple that are a little bit better for me on the list, but I love the pattern within it. I like the very local sponsor, Super League. I think this is where Dom got confused. Did I ever mention <laughs> I really like Super League? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I like it. The trim that knocks off the shoulders. I, I, no, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I think it deserves to be third. And Jay from Retro, he likes it even more than me. He had it in that, uh, second place. And he said, fire kit with the badges in the base. Yeah, it's pretty much what I've said. Going through the rankers, let's kick off with... Sean, let's kick off with you on this one. Because you didn't agree with us. You've had it ninth place. If it was any other team, it's a basic kit, but if it's any other team, I could have elevated a little bit. But Chesterfield being 
our rivals. I couldn't look past it. Um, Fair enough. Yes, yeah, Super League, yeah, good sponsor. North Derbyshire Health. What's that saying? Um, I like the the like superimposed crest, but yeah, it's just it's a bit rugby to me. But but again, you change that the red to white and put your badge on it. That's your kit. Yeah, and it's, it, we're unique, so I can let me like it. You know. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I don't want to argue. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Dom, I'm going to come yes. and talk. To, I'm going to come, come and talk to you now, pal, because you had it in seventh on your list. So, what is it that was quite not dicey enough about this shirt to have it higher? Um, I, I think, I think I was just seeing Oldham for some reason. Um, again with that kind of umbro like collar. Um, but there's yeah. good, there's good elements. I think obviously the badge and then the kind of a simplified shield of the badge as well works quite well yeah. and then Super League R class. Um but yeah North Derbyshire Elf. Um <laughs> and that colour. I, I couldn't really score it that much higher. It just didn't yeah it didn't really make that much of a difference to me. So wrong. I also I, I much prefer this crest to the one they've got now. They've they've gone to 21st century. I don't like it. Stick to this lads. Stick to what you know. Has we'll finish off with you at uh, Fifth on your list, so you've got it absolutely spot on in terms of the rankings, mate. So for you, what was it that you liked to, about it, if there was anything, and what kind of stopped you from having it higher up? Also, just before you answer, sorry, Sean Dash hasn't aged a day, has he? Absolutely hasn't aged a single exactly day. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. same. Yeah, sorry, has yeah. What do you think, pal? Yeah, I like the uh, the badges into the into the kit itself. I think that's a nice little touch. Um, I think don't the Vasco da Gama shirts have that this year, and it looks quite good on mm-hmm. them. So it kind of remind me of that. Um, yeah, I just think it's a, it's quite a, as uh, Jay's been saying, a clean shirt. The the sponsor isn't great, but being a health worker myself, you know, I've got to support the support the guys. So <laughs> I had to put it somewhere up there. Um, but yeah, I think it looks better on him in the picture than it does laid out like that to be fair. Yeah. But, uh, even point. with that, that armband. Is even that with like, the armband. Is that a captain's I'm armband or is has he been is he had that amputated <laughs> <laughs> World War Two medic, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. There we go then. Uh night out rating Sean. Three. Wow, okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, Sean Dash when he was a player at Chesterfield back at or back in the Premier League with Everton. Great first game beating Arsenal um, over the weekend, which was really, 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 really good. Yeah, really good. Um, 29 points on our list. Right, we're getting into the top four now. Um, and a manager who scored 33 points overall. And I'm so happy that he wasn't placed at number 10. He's at number four. And it's the best manager on the list. It's Eric Ten Hag. (laughs) When he played at Utrecht, and let's have a look from when he played. So he played, um, there's just one season, uh, 95-96, which is the 95-96 home shirt. He played 30 games that season, uh, scoring two goals. As you can see, it's Reebok. Um, It was fifth on my list. Um, And Jay had it seventh, and he said about it, a lot of Reebok. But nice. I mean, it's it's a, a bit of Reebok. It's yeah. I, w- I would I would agree with that. Um, Has let's start with you on this one. Uh, you had it third on your list. Very nineties, sort of in your face with like the logos. I think which which Jay is alluding to. Uh, the only thing that's missing is that's on the play one. I'll show you is obviously the badge that's on the sleeve. But so it, it's a very nice sort of nineties shirt, right? Yeah, I uh, I really rate this shirt. To be fair, I'm um, I'm always one for a colourful shirt, whether it's a football shirt or you're going out or whatever. And going back to the the festival thing, I thought, yeah, that is absolutely something I'd wear at a festival. Um, I really like the like the Reebok logo being big and kind of fitting in with the design across the front as well. Yeah. And then the sponsor being slanted as well makes a big difference. I think if that sponsor wasn't following the band, then it might not be quite as good. But 
yeah, yeah. I really rate that shirt to be fair. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree, mate. I think it is nice. Um, Dom, will come to you. You <laughs> had it in fourth, so you bang on uh, where you scored it. I mean, it's a great shirt for a great manager, right? That's that's very true. Um, but there were there were a couple of things that like should have been done differently. Obviously, this is similar to the like Chile '98 that everyone loved. Yeah. Uh, if they'd have just not had that smaller Reebok logo and had the Utrecht badge there rather than on the sleeve, maybe with the sponsor moved down a tiny little bit, then then yeah, it would have worked a lot better. That is a lot of Reebok because he's got shorts, there's Reebok on the socks, and he's wearing Reebok boots as well. So I'm, I see where Jay's coming from. Um, but yeah, it just a couple of little tweaks, and this could have been easily my number one. Yeah, no, I, I think I agree with that as well. All raising some great points. Sean, I'm interested to know what you think about it. Again, similar to has you had it in third place. Just screams. It's 90s. exciting, isn't it? It's an exciting yeah. shirt. It's almost, I, I can't see it on the other picture, but on that one there, it's like Land of the Rising Sun vibes, or is that just yeah. like the of the collar at the top? Yeah, I, um, I, I noticed that before when I got the picture. There's, there's that bit there that he's got around his shoulders. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be on that picture, which is a shame. But every see, I like picture, that, I like every that, picture, I, I like see that red. Oh, go on, sorry, go on. I, I like that red, but on the yeah, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, the yeah. sponsor cracking, and I like the difference. I like it. it's a bit different, isn't it, with a badge on the sleeve. Yeah, again, it was something I was a bit. Uh, unhappy with that it wasn't on the picture of just the shirt on its own but like I say every picture I could see of the shirt ha- didn't have the sort of like you say <laughs> land of the rising sun bit at the top of it which is unfortunate but no I, I agree with you guys I think it's a great shirt and I think it's a great very very manager. George Campos in it wearing it yeah really 90 Sean now I'll rate for this one tough one I'd like to get noticed actually so yeah eight I think you'd get noticed. I think you would get noticed. Uh, so there we go then. An eight rating from Sean, but it's come fourth on our list this week. Eric Ten Hag, where he's won an only season down at Utrecht in the ninth in the A Divisie. 33 points overall. He's beaten to third place by one point, and our next manager might be this shirt behind me that's coming up. And it is a certain enemy of Manchester United's best captain or one of the best captains it's Patrick Vieira and Arsenal and this is obviously the 2004-2005 issue that in that season as you can see it is the famous T90 template second on my list it's Arsenal but for me like I'm a big fan of the T90 I've got numerous in my collection if you take that Arsenal badge off and uh, and put any other, it's, I think it's probably possibly up there with the best T90 shirt that they released. And I think I, I just I just think it's amazing the colors, it makes the template look great with the sort of white, the yellow pinstripe. And was it this? Did it have did it have yellow in the back? I can't remember if it did or not. In the, with the name where the name set goes, because I know the home shirt was red with white where the name set went. I can't remember if this was yellow. If not, it doesn't matter. It's still it's still great. So that's why I put it second on my list. Jay had it in six, but I think, you know, we're talking a lot of bias here. Jay's obviously a oh, Chelsea. Yeah. I think a little bias came into it in terms of uh, <clears throat> in terms of where he put this one. But he did say iconic template, um, which is it's true. It is, and I, and I do love it. Through going through the rankers, uh, let's we'll start with you, Sean, on this one. Because you had it in fourth place. So what have you got to say about Patrick Vieira and this Arsenal away shirt? <clears throat> I think, yeah, it's my favourite Nike template, I think. Um, more so than the, the home kit. I think I don't like the home kit. Um, I even, I thought it looks a bit odd with a Nike tick at the far left or the right as the player looks at it. But I don't mind it there. I thought maybe in the middle, but no, I'm happy with it there. Um, yeah. yeah, nice. Clean is the word of the day, isn't it? Clean. It does seem to be, mate. It does seem to be. Uh, Dom comes to you next on this one, mm-hmm. and yeah, I, you you agree with me uh, in in second place. I mean, the T nineties do get a lot of a lot of love and also a lot of hate. I think, and I think, I think it's the, the people that live through the era most and probably bought the shirts that love it, and it's the sort of younger people coming up now, 
wasn't really around or buying shirts through the, t- the T United template. They kind of have the problem with it. For you, where does this rank in, in the sort of template list? If it was to in be... the template world, this is like this is the later iteration of the T90, but even the one before it, and yeah. possibly the most frustrating of templates for me. And yeah. uh, visually to look at, I really like them, but to wear the fucking horrible. Horrible. Um, not not nice. And I wouldn't wear this anyway, but I definitely want it in my collection. I think it's a, a an iconic Arsenal away shirt. The red accents through the collar and on the cuffs, even on the long sleeve there, uh, kind yeah. of matching with elements of the badge. The uh, Nike symbol being a bit a bit higher up. I, I've always kind of liked that, even on like Adidas shirts as well. Um, and then rather than just going for the you know the one aspect or element on uh, the sleeve. I think that's that itself makes it a bit more unique uh, yeah. rather than have it on both sides as well. So, yeah, a lot to like about this and all of the other variations of it. It's just that I, I just can't abide wearing them. They're horrible to wear. <clears throat> yeah. they're, they're not, uh, finger hug. If, you, if you're bloated or you've got a bit of a beer gut as well, honestly, they're not. you're not your friend. They're not your friend. I think, I think this, the sponsor works really well as well because, obviously, with the kind of international... Um, like variations of that template, yeah. and they had the the circle around the squad number. Um, yeah. I think this kind of like lent into that as well with the sponsor just being a, a circle in the middle. So always, always really like this kit. Always really like that particular colorway as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's the only away shirt on on the list as well. That's not that's not by um, accident. I actually chose this one for that reason, just because I thought it was one of the best kits Arsenal have had away shirts, and especially what I do. Give it a little bit of love. Um, what I was talking about before we come to your has, sorry, just a bit about the era, as you probably know, was there from 96 to 04. Um, this is his last season. Uh, no, 04 or 05. Uh, this last season that he played for him. Um, yeah, scoring. He only scored 29 goals as well. Um, so 04, 05, away shirt. Um, I've not written down his appearances properly. He says 29, but I know that's not true. So what am I talking about? Uh, he played a lot of games because he was there for a long time. Let's just say that. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it has. You had it on seven from your list. Was it? Is it a template you're not a fan of? Or was it just... No, um, I've, I've, I absolutely love the template. I think this was probably the prime point when I became like a massive football shirt fan to be honest like i remember yeah. the advert with Henri in it um doing skills around his house yeah and that was the first glimpse you got of the united shirt the home shirt for that season and i watched and watched it about 50 times to see that shirt yeah. i just don't i just don't like this arsenal shirt i'll be honest i i love the home shirt version um of the template but this one just doesn't do it for me um fair enough and like Don was saying, yeah, they are horrible to wear. I was yeah. contemplating wearing my 05 one to that tonight, <laughs> and then I was like, actually, no, I don't want to sit for an hour or so in that shirt. I played football in it before, and it's horrible. Don't like it. But yeah, it it's nothing about the template. It's just literally, I, I don't like the, this Arsenal shirt. Plus, it, it is that time when we were massive rivals as well, so it does take a yeah. little bit to like uh, to like the era at all. But yeah, that's a bit of bias for me again. <laughs> it's allowed me. So you, you rank how you want to rank, um, but no, you you are right about it. It's like it's like wearing tracing paper. That's what it reminds me of. Them shirts, that one and the one before. Not that I wear tracing paper a lot, but I imagine <laughs> that's I imagine what I think the new, um, you know, the new Puma ones are. Um, oh yeah, I think the yeah. players have been complaining about it as well. Wouldn't surprise me. They, they get they seem to get worse sometimes. Sean, quick night out rating on this one. Uh, what are you saying? I'd say about six or seven. I ask you. I don't. I don't for asking me. It's your thing. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. So ask ask has for a festival rating instead. Yeah. Ha, yeah. Do you know what I thought about that? Has festival rating? <laughs> uh oh, I'd probably give it a four. Four. Because because you, you you wouldn't spend all day in that, would you? No, you wouldn't. No, not at all. And uh, so there we go. Then Patrick Vieira third on our list, thirty-four points overall. Right, we're down to the final two then. We've got two shirts left and there's a bit of a gap between third and second and then from second to first. Um, so our second placed shirt with 40 points overall, 
may not be on the list for much longer if we were to do this in 12 months' time because his team might not be in the Premier League. Who knows? We'll have to see. And it is <laughs> Mr Pep. Guardiola, it's not at Barca, though. No, no, no. I've not gone obvious. It's when he played at Brescia. Uh, he played at Brescia for one season from 0-1 to played 11 games and scored two goals. This is the 0-1 to 0-2 home shirt, as you can imagine. So, yeah, it's far, it could be easy to go Barca. But, no, let's go to a bit different. I had it fourth on my list. I like it. It's just it was a few a little bit better for me personally, but it is a really nice shirt. Again, the crest on the sleeve looks looks really nice. Better in long sleeve as well. With the big chevron down it. Jay had it in sixth place. No, he didn't. Uh, he had it in fourth place. And he said about it, very nostalgic brush kit. Love the collar. Very nice. And I agree. I agree, Jay. Um, going through the rankers. Let's start off with you, Sean, on this one. Because uh, you had it second. You had it spot on this week. Why did you, did you put it second? Um, <clears throat> only because Conte beat it, in my opinion. Um, I, love, I love the Chevron. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. All right. Beep. Um, <laughs> I love the... What, should I carry on? <laughs> yeah, so, it's, it's fine. Chevron, on. <laughs> Chev- the Chevron is gorgeous. Yeah. The sponsor's a bit out there, but I think it's okay with a Chevron because it's like it takes the attention away from the sponsor as well. Um, okay. Logo on the sleeve and yeah, the other uh, colour. It's when you look at it, first impression as well. I'm like, that's going to be high. Yeah. And you get in the nooks and crannies. You know, yeah, that's a high one. Fair. No, that's some good reasonings, mate. Uh, has we'll, we'll come to you on it. Uh, second as well for you. Just just one shirt better. A uh, little bit of that, and then just agree with what Sean said, to be honest. Uh, I'll, the Chevron is great. The sponsor helps with that. I like the crest on the sleeve, and I don't mind it short sleeve, but I definitely think uh, long sleeve's better. But, yeah, he wears it well, to be fair to him. Absolutely, mate. It was that era of kits where the short sleeves were almost long sleeves anyway, so it doesn't really matter which yeah. way you wore it. You were getting pretty much long sleeves anyway. Don, we'll finish off for you. Um, finish off with you on this one. Third for you, so just a, a, a place lower than where it actually ended up. So, again, you agree with the guys, you're just a very nostalgic looking Brescia shirt and yeah. probably a team that doesn't get the kits highlighted enough for, for me. Would you agree? Yes, I think, um, other than the kind of jarring orange kind of outline of the of the sponsor, uh, yeah. I don't I don't necessarily dislike the fact that the league patch and the um, brush your badge on opposing arms because it at least has some kind of symmetry. Um, yeah. But yeah, the chevron itself, I like uh, the longer sleeve one. I'd um, I'd have preferred it if that really nice collar there was elements or accents of that that were incorporated within the sleeves, both on the short and long sleeve. I think that yeah. would have elevated it a little bit for me. But yeah, the the only you know drawback for me on this one was really that that orange color. Around around the sponsor, which which seems needless and doesn't really, it, you know, it goes against the red on the collar as well, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I think everyone pretty much agrees agrees with that. But it's a great shirt and uh, a great manager. Soon to be managing someone that's not a corrupt team, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see about that, won't we? That we don't know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll leave that to the Premier League. But there we go, Pep Guardiola. Manchester City's manager, obviously. 40 points overall, coming in second place. 40 points is not nothing to be sniffed at, especially if it's coming second, which means there's only one shirt left. And it's the first time this has happened on full kit rankers. Back-to-back full houses. It's another 50-pointer. Uh, Sean may have given it away a little bit uh, earlier on, trying to ruin the old bloody show. Uh, it's fine. You may not. I was just show. saying a rude name. That's all. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you may not throughout the show. I've not got a shirt on. I've got a jacket on. It's Juventus. Uh, it's from the season um, that this next shirt is from, and it's uh, obviously from ninety five, ninety six. So if I was to do a little bit of uh, a bit of this, get it. Where's it the music? I better not chuck it. It's it's uh, stock. It's not mine. Um, it's this. Uh, it's this shirt. And it is Antonio Conte, Spurs manager. I've not got the Italy badge. Sorry, guys. I apologize. Um, the 95 to 96 Juventus home shirt. 
He played for Juve from 91 to 2004. 296 appearances with 29 goals. I mean, yeah, full house. I mean, it's it was always going to be, wasn't it? Uh, number one for everyone across the board. Quickly, Jay said, Peng Kit, Peng Manager. I mean, yeah, you can be a Peng Manager when you get your hair from Turkey. That's absolutely fine, isn't it? I guess. Um, let's go through the list then. Let's start off. Has let's start with you. Number one on the list. Yeah, it was never going to be any anything else, was it? It, it wasn't, was it? It's the it's the the sponsor. It's just a classic. It's the Scudetto patches. It's the badge in the middle of the collar. It's yeah. I, I don't know what else you could say about it. Really, it's just it's up there. I was, I saw one on Depop yesterday actually, and I was very tempted, and now I'm even more tempted to to to, to buy one, which is <laughs> which is bad because I've spent too much on shirts already this year. We all know the feeling, mate. We all know the feeling, but that's why we're in it. Just do it. If you see it, go and do it. I know there's one on retro football kits, so go and get that one. I think that's what you should probably do. Get 10% off. Talking kit 10. Go and do that. Um, Dom, let's come to you on it. Number one again. I mean, hats back to those classic uh, United and UV oh, matches mate. we used to get in the Champions League. I know you remember them. It's just, they, they just they just had it right, Kappa and UV in the 90s, didn't they? Mate, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Like it, it's so uncommon to have a, a sponsor running through stripes like that and it, it not seem like it shouldn't actually be there. Um that's easily like top three sponsor for me of all time. Um the obviously the UV badge within the collar. We saw Kappa doing this quite a bit with like Betis and they had like cities like MCFC on, on one of their collars as well. But yeah. I think the the cuffs and the collar uh, tie in really well. It's just it's just tidy, like, and it it's having had shirts from that era. Like it's decent to wear. Always always catches glimpses from other people as well. It's just yeah, it's just filthy. I love it. It's filthy, absolutely. This one's nice. Quite clean to be fair. <laughs> don't smell. Oh, I hope I don't. I bet no. I bet I'd be all right when I send it back tomorrow. Yeah, they, they can just put it as match worn. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um. One live on on YouTube, yeah. Why not, Sean? We'll we'll finish off with you on this one. I mean, Juve now tend to mess around a little bit too much. You look at the shirt from this season with the weird lightning bolts, uh, the the one where they had half and half. They've had one stripe, one black stripe. When they keep it clean like this, there's very little that gets in the way of being better for me in terms of Serie. A. And, and kits in general. Would you agree with that one? 100%, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. And when you said then about the half and half, that's one of the worst kits I've seen. But this is one yeah. of the, like, it's the best. It's it's basic. I don't want to say basic. It seems basic, but it's not. It's, yeah. In its own right, it's, it's a classic. It is. You're really right. The, the worst thing about... I remember Josh brought it up on an episode. The worst thing about that half and half one was it, it was a... I know what a football shirt is of pissing jigsaw and they, they all band together and it makes stripes. I, no, I, I don't know. No, give me stripes like this. That's what I mean. I don't want to get together with 10 friends to make a shirt. That's not how it works. But yeah, no, no, they, that I got a beam of bonnet there about that. that. That's fine. Anything else, Sean, you want to say about this beautiful? We'll have a look at Antonio. Why not? I mean, yeah, look, look oh, at there. Oh, it. <laughs> it just it it just screams Champions League winner, doesn't it? That kit. It, it does. It does. Preferred it if the pitch had um, black shorts, but we won't. Die, we won't yeah. focus yeah. on that. Uh, scoring scoring against Rangers. Um, Andy Andy Gorham there. Andy Gorham in the background. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's a kit worthy of winning. Uh, like I say, sec the first time we've ever had two full houses back to back. So. Happy with that. And I mean, it had to be number one. If anyone hadn't put this number one, uh, there'd be some serious questions, I think. So I'm glad everyone's agreed on this one. Uh, but that's it. That's our 10 shirts. Antonio Conte coming out on top. Uh, won't do the same with Spurs this year, obviously down in fifth place. But never mind. That's not that's not what we need to focus on. But there we go. End of this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed Ranking the shirts along with us, if you've agreed with us, if you haven't agreed with us, let us know in the comments. It's always nice to know your thoughts on what you think should have been number one or anywhere, number 10, whatever. Probably Klopp, to be fair. Let's, let's agree. 
Um, let's go through the guests and, and say thank you. Dom, thank you so much as always for joining us. It's great to have you here with us, ranking. Um, mm-hmm. Anything going on? Anything you want to shout out or anything like that? No, no other than um, obviously we've got we've got guests booked now until uh, early April. Uh, oh, I've cool. reached out to a few more people. Uh, got some exciting um, guests that will be uh, committing to coming on in April and onwards. But if obviously anyone else who watches wants to take part, then drop us a DM. Get in touch as as Double A rightly says, we're a community channel. And uh, we welcome anyone getting getting in touch with us to get on as well. Absolutely. All um, our emails in the description. If you want to send us an email, you have to DM. You can hit us up on your email. That's in the description. Um, but yeah, more more people than merry. We always like to extend the family and get as many kit heads as we can on the show for sure. Um, as always, Dom. Thank you, Sean. It's good to have you back. This means you're back. you're back from injury now. Does that mean you're going to get some consistency having you here? I'll be there when I'm know. available. I'll be trying my best. I'll try my damnedest. <laughs> I mean, that's all, that's all I can ask for, I guess, isn't it? That's probably the best I'm going to get. Uh, anything you want to say other than that? Um, I say it every time, right? But watch this space. I've got content coming and coming, but I keep building it up and then I think it's not good enough. Never doing it. But I've got, yeah. but a different, I've got a different angle. Okay. Take, because I'm, because I've taken my... Um, you moved coaching, your camera. Goalkeeper coaching badge. Oh, I'm going to be like Ooh. doing a bit of a coaching. I like it. I want, I, I'm, I'm excited for that. And yeah, look out for that. And when it's out, obviously you'll get a massive shout out on this channel, of course, being that you are one of the talking tit, talking tit, talking, talking kit tits. boys. I mean, that, you could start that channel if you want. That's nothing to do with me. Who's, I'm not... who's the biggest one? <laughs> but me, after just saying that, I guess. Has, let's swiftly move on. Thank you so much for calling on, brother. I really, it's been really nice to spend some time with you talking kit, uh, not talking tit. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, where can people reach out and find you and tell them a bit about what you do and stuff? I guess. Yeah, fair. well, first, thanks for having me on, guys. It's been very enjoyable ranking kits for you guys. Um, yeah, so you can find me on the at Hazards Whatever on Instagram and Twitter. Not on Facebook yet. Don't know if people use that anymore. Um, don't ask why my name's that either. It just came about during lockdown and then I couldn't change it because it was too late. Um, so, yeah, if you're a United fan, you'll probably like my content more than most people. Um, if you're not a United fan but you like football artwork, then I'm quite often retweeting a lot of the uh, the other guys that I'm friendly with. So we've got Everton guys, Arsenal guys, all sorts of people. So, yeah, um, drop us a follow on Instagram and Twitter and uh, hopefully I don't annoy you too much with me United content. Uh, if you're a United fan, then get on down. And then uh, I sell my prints, I sell T-shirts, all that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, if you want to pick up any of them, then there's some offers going on on the store. Uh, and they run giveaways as well, yeah, because we know that Mr. Double A here has won one. They're not oh, yeah. fake. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so make sure you go check him out. Make sure you go and support. He's absolutely unbelievably talented uh, and yeah he'll be, hopefully be back on Talking Kit very very soon uh, it's been really good to have you on mate really appreciate it but that's it from us we are out of here we've got more content coming as more as you know dropping it all the time Desert Island Kits full kit rankers coming at you thick and fast it does not stop so make sure you're part of the community we want you to become a kit head smash a like on the video for God's sake I know you've not done it I said it before you've not done it so do it now Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're steadily getting there and growing, but we need your help to do so. So, yeah, smash uh, the subscribe button as well. Share it with your kit-loving friends. I can't say it. There's so many of us. They all need to be a part of it as well. And if you want as well, when we drop content, hit the bell notification button. That would be great as well. We're out of here. We'll see you on the next one. As always, though, just keep talking kit.